Uh, my name is Matt. I'm a product specialist with Isotope, and we're here with Harmony Central at the 2014 NAMM show looking at Brake Tweaker. Uh, and so Brake Tweaker is Isotope's newest product. It actually came out first day of the NAMM show, so it's already available. Uh, it's our latest collaboration between Isotope and BT. Uh, and it's essentially a drum machine slash drum instrument with a bunch of cool rhythmic features. Um, and so I'll just play some of those right now so you can kind of get a sense of how it sounds. So as you can probably hear, it's definitely an EDM-centric drum production instrument. Uh, and so there's really three main things I want to show you. Uh, first of all, we have the sequence of you, uh, and unlike usual uh, sequences, you can actually give each track an individual step length. Um, so, you know, I can make this track, the hi-hat track, two-thirds the speed of everything else, and you'll notice that my individual sequence of steps move differently. So I get these really interesting kind of polyrhythmic textures as everything evolves over time. Really, really fun to play around with. If I dive into the sound library, um, you'll notice each track has uh, what we call a generator, and you can have up to three of those generators. A generator can be either a synth or a one-shot sample loader. So in this beat, you know, I've loaded some kick and some snare samples. And if you check it out, this snare is one snare. There's no layers going on, but it sounds really full. And that's because we've, uh, we've included about 2.2 gigs of drum samples of one shots in the, the Break Tweaker library and they've been pre-mixed, pre-layered. Um, so, you know, you don't need to spend the time making five snare layers with a sine tone and some distortion and some filtering. They've already got these sounds in here that are good to go. Um, to to kind of take a step back and look at the synth, we have this morphing wavetable oscillator and it's, it's just wild. If I uh, get, set my beat playing, you'll notice that this, this waveform just kind of morphs through a bunch of different shapes you've never seen in a synthesizer before. And there's a, you know, there's a bunch of interesting waveforms. If I go to my square wave, I mean, you've never seen a square wave that looks like that. You can get some really interesting modulations going. We've got a ton of great distortions to the right here, uh, taken from Isotope's Trash 2. Some really great analog modeled filters you can play around with. The LFOs have some really interesting LFO shapes that, again, you've never seen before in any traditional LFO. Uh, and we have additive, ring mod, AM, and FM type synthesis. Um, and just to finish up, the coolest thing by far is this uh, micro edit engine. And so you'll notice, uh, let me just get my beat going again. So right here, this snare hit has, uh, if I select any step in the sequencer engine, uh, the micro edit engine becomes active. I can slice that snare hit into three parts. If I want to make that snare 20 slices, I can do some really cool granular stuff and then I can add tensions and curves to get really cool sweeps like this. Um, so really, there's a ton in there. There's a ton of great content, presets, awesome samples. Uh, it's a really, really good production instrument. And that rhythmic editing is like nothing else out there. It's really, really good fun. So if you want to check it out, uh, go to isotope.com. There's a free 10-day trial you can download. Um, definitely do that. Have a play with it. Have a listen. I'm sure you guys are going to love it. So thanks a lot.